Hello dear friends, welcome back. <clears throat> we discussed about the interior epithelium of the lens. Now we are discussing about the lens fibers. Welcome back friends. Let's discuss about the third point about the lens that is lens fibers. Right. What are lens fibers? Actually, you can you know that your lens uh, is a transparent object, right? Light can pass through it. Rather, it has uh, lots of fibers inside it, right? So, light can pass all through these fibers. So, we say that these fibers are also transparent fibers, right? And from what are these fibers formed? In the previous lecture, I told you that these, anti these columnar cells are responsible to make the lens fibers. For example, look carefully, my dear friends. If this is your lens, right? And here you have your columnar shaped cells, right? So these cells will keep on dividing and they will make the lens fiber. So how these cells will divide and they will make a long thread like structure like this. Right? This is one fiber. This is other fiber like this. So they will make these fibers. So the fibers are what? Actually they are closely or firmly packed cells, elongated cells, right? So once again I will tell you that these fibers are actually these epithelial cells but they have lost their nuclei, they don't have nuclei so they will stretch 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 and they will make these fibers right so what are lens fiber lens fibers are long thin transparent closely packed cells they are long transparent thin cells firmly or closely packed right how are they packed i will tell you right friends what is the diameter of these cells so from diameter we mean for example if i take one fiber for example this is the fiber so this is the diameter right so their diameter is from 4 to 7 micrometer right and about the length of these fibers What is their length? So they uh, uh, contain a length of from 12 to 14 micrometer long. These fibers are 10 to 14 micrometer long. Right friends? And we say that these fibers will stretch from the posterior surface to the interior pool. Right? So I will write here they stretch from posterior pool to anterior pool right friends done and uh, these cells are linked through gap junctions and interdigitating processes let me write here they are linked with uh, each other through gap junctions right and enter digitating points let me clear this point here look carefully for example if we draw here two fibers this is a fiber right and uh, here we have another fiber below that now look carefully these fibers will give uh, a rise of these uh, inward depressions right and here where there is the uh, other fiber uh, other fiber layer right they will give tongue like outward projections like this look carefully they will fix into those inward projections of those 
uh, and of the upper layer fibers right so uh, we say that if we stretch them again look carefully i will make they will they will make these kind of uh, projections right inward projections and the upper cell layer upper fiber layer will make these kind of downward going projections like this right so they are connected with each other linked through gap junctions and through interdigitating points right friends this was about the lens fibers of your anterior epithelium of your lens the next important point about this uh, and this lens fibers is a very important point that is uh, the all these fibers will unite with each other at a central point right how friends look carefully for example this is a fiber and they will come and unite here this is a fiber and will come unite here here is another fiber and that also and here we have another fiber and on that, that side there is a, a fiber which will unite and here and here like this right so i have shown them here so they will unite with each other uh, on the interior surface and on the posterior surface so the book have said that on the interior for example this is the uh, this upper surface is the interior surface and this lower surface is the posterior surface of the lens so the anterior surface all these fibers will make a union a y shape union like this so all these fibers will unite to form a y shape an erect y shape union and on the posterior surface they will make an upside down y like this right so on the posterior surface the y shaped union point is the uh, y will be upside down and on the interior surface the y will be erect right so they will unite all these fibers will unite at center of lens right so you can see here they have all these fibers have made a union here and here we can also say that these fibers will make a union in the center of the lens right friends and one thing which is very important next point is that these fibers are responsible to make the cortex and the nuclei of the lens right so let me write it here they make cortex and nuclei which we will discuss next right friends so this was about the lens fibers see you in the next lecture we will discuss about the nuclei and cortex